Kathy Barnett has gained traction quickly and has managed to make the Republican Senate nomination a three person race. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Carrado is at Barnett headquarters in Elizabethtown right now. Kerry? Yuki, we are here at the Star Barn in Elizabethtown. This is the home of the Kathy Barnett headquarters for her, her campaign. I want to show you and set the scene behind me. This is a look at the stage. We are still waiting for people to arrive. We are still setting up here. But here is a look at her today. She voted at the Huntington Valley Library in Montgomery County. Barnett has been fighting hard to secure that GOP Senate nomination. Political experts saying she came out of nowhere, an underdog who surged to the top late in the game and with far less money. She's now battling front runner Dr. Oz, who was endorsed by by former President Trump and David McCormick, who's also a top contender. Now, Barnett served in the Armed Force Reserves. She was an adjunct professor of corporate finance and a conservative political commentator. On primary eve, her camp addressed photos she was in D.C. when the Capitol was attacked, and her campaign told CBS Barnett had no involvement in the violence. So, all eyes are on the Keystone State, not just here, but nationwide. We are following this very closely, and we will keep you updated throughout the night. We're live in Elizabethtown. Kerry Corrado, CBS 3. Eyewitness News. Carrie, thanks.